CQ, CQ, CQ. This is VE3IKQ, VE3IKQ. The name is Alan Alpha Lima Alpha November, VE3IKQ. Well, actually, to most people, it's a hobby. To me, it's something that kept me alive. Five years ago, Alan Laird was seriously ill and forced into an early retirement. But while still in hospital, he discovered amateur radio. Since then, his life has not been the same. Even though I could not go back to what I had been doing, I had made up my mind that I was going to do something, and nobody was going to stop me. They, they tell me, uh, you, you're no longer able to work. So what am I going to do with the rest of my life? So therefore, my antenna is directed in the east-west direction. So we will pass it back to you in Canada for your comment, Alan. Over. A3 UP in the group. Uh, it is nice to hear you on, uh, Rocco. And... Uh, uh, this is the first time I've heard you uh, on the air. Uh, you were uh, Q5 copy. Alan, your signal is a little weak. My station is located 10 miles southwest of London, and it's a beautiful spring day here. I imagine it's still winter. Strange noises from a little room in the basement. Alan Laird now lives in Legion Village, a retirement home in the outskirts of Toronto for the veterans of two wars. It's a comfortable enough place, modern architecture and good food. But many of the old are cut off here, cut off from their families and isolated from the surrounding community. They spend much of their time sitting around, just waiting. <laughs> Alan Laird has found a way of breaking out. Now he has friends around the world, and neighborhood school children have discovered that there is something new to be learned in the old age home. You, you know me, right? Yeah, well, um, <laughs> I'm nine, and I go to William G. Davis. Okay, very fine, uh, Doug. <laughs> I think you've, uh, you may be uh, interested in this hobby if uh, you listen to some of the stations that you can talk to. Uh, V3 UP, V3 IKQ. I have uh, Mrs. Browning sitting beside me. She's one of our young seniors. Good morning. Wait, say some more. Good morning. His name is Paul. Paul. I'm Mrs. Browning. And are you from Guelph? No, there, Mrs. Browning, honey. Your lovely voice is reaching me down here in Southern South Carolina. It's Alan Voice, you have too, Mrs. Brown. Hey, we're going to have to go on a date when I come up visiting. If I've got problems in my mind, all i got to do is come down here, shut the door, turn on the rig, and see if I can talk to somebody in South Africa or England or down the street. Like, we're sitting in a ham shack here with no windows which to some people uh, would send them into claustrophobia. But to me, through the medium of ham radio, I can forget these walls, and I can get out and talk to people that nobody else ever has a, has a chance of talking to. There's always a ham on the air, somewhere. 